What's up, guys? Hawaii's only. We got the Holo Holo crew today. Is we're trying to get a Hawaiian escargot, which is kupe'e. I want to show you guys where to find it, how to catch it, and then we're gonna hopefully, if we get some, chef it up. Shoots, we see you at the water. Aloha guys, my name is Kale D. Shanks. Welcome to the channel, Hawaii's Only. We are a catch and cook channel where we go out into the ocean, catch ocean critters, and then we chef it up. We release videos every single Saturday. Please hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell. Today we're gonna be looking for black crab, also known as aama crab in Hawaiian. Aama crab is one of my favorite things to eat. It's just a little bit of Hawaiian salt and you eat it raw. It has really sweet meat and they're found all over the shoreline all across Hawaii. We're also going to be looking for kupe'e. Kupe'e is a Hawaiian snail. It's actually pretty hard to find. They're kind of rare. They're really big for the snail family, for the Hawaii snails. They're much bigger than the pipipi, which are these little black snails here. The kupe'e are more gray and they're much bigger and they usually can only be found at nighttime. During the day, they burrow into the sand and they sleep or they hide. And then at night, they come out to feed on the algae on the rocks. So to find kupe'e, you need to have salt water, you need to have sand, and you need to have some rocks. And with that combination, you can find some kupe'e. These are some really big ones right here. So we're just walking the shoreline of Waikiki looking for a kupe'e and aama crab. Hey, watch out, no come up here. One thing that's really cool about the kupe'e is that they come in all kinds of different colors. So your traditional black or gray kupe'e is probably the most common. However, on this night, we found one with red bands going across. It was really beautiful. We also found some that were white and had a checkerboard pattern, which I've never seen before. So that was really cool. So we're going to hold all of these shells. And then on a future video, maybe a few months from now, we're going to make some kupe'e jewelry. And if you've never seen kupe'e jewelry, check out eBay or just go online and Google it. They got some really, really beautiful kupe'e jewelry out there. So yeah, I'll let you guys enjoy the rest of the video. I'll see you guys back in the kitchen. So fast because they're crawling up. Put it back. Go put them down. Check 
Uncle Brock, I'm getting the guys Hawaii Zone we're back at the house a little quick one hour session we got ourselves some kupe and we got ourselves some ama crab we're gonna show you guys how to clean the ama crab we're gonna put these guys asleep they should be mostly sleeping already put them to bed wow. and then we're gonna clean them Yeah, we can that. Nice. Oh, that's a big one. Okay, so you grab one crab. Right here. Okay. And most of these have the claws off, but if the claws are still on, you just twist them off. Just because they're real pokey. And then we use this, all this for chum. Yeah. So the eggs we keep in. So all the um. Are oh, we gonna use it for chum? Yeah, all of it goes oh. inside this bag. So, wow. you take the, so you take off the bottom. It's like really, it's like cruelty. No, they're, they're all dead. They're sleeping. Mm. They're unconscious. So you take this, you put it in here. Take off the back. Okay. And then all this back goes, all goes in here. Then all your meat, your gills, and all this stuff right here, it all goes into this ziplock, okay? Yes. How can we clean this way Well, this is because we're going to make pokey out of this. Oh. If you want to do big island style, mm -hmm. you can just lift the back and you can yeah. use all the guts and that's fine. You do this. Yeah. So mm -hmm. we're, we're, this is the owner part. So, I mean, we can, we have a lot, so we can do half half. Yeah, you want. And he's like, oh, it's still twitching. Yeah, it's just nervous, just dead. Oh, big island style. Just Hawaiian salt, just one ingredient, Hawaiian salt. Crab. Take the back shell off and then you put the back shell back on. And then tomorrow morning we eat this for breakfast. We want nice ice cold beer. Guys, I'm a crab poke. We get our 
whole almond crab with just the Hawaiian salt. We're gonna let that sit overnight. We get our palu bag. This is gonna be for a couple episodes down the road. And then we get our kupee. Ooh, spell is still moving over here. We'll see you guys tomorrow morning for the cow cow time. Guys, guys. Seven o'clock in the morning. I have to grab me a hat because my hair is all wangas and entertaining. I'm gonna. I've been thinking about this alma crab all night. Cause so alma crab, like a lot of other fish, you gotta let them get past the rigor mortis stage before you can actually eat it. Cause if you eat it too soon, the meat is literally super tough. So you guys remember this tray huh? of all the. I just gotta sample you can make sure the thing is good. I don't like serve this to my family if if not good, you know what I mean? So just mm. wow. I've been thinking about this thing all night. I was just dreaming of Ama. And then you squeeze, you're gonna see the meat come out. Where's the camera? Right here, you see the meat coming out? Oh my gosh. Mmm. Right, guys, we waited all day without eating any ama crab, I promise you. So, we're gonna make our ama crab poke. To make the ama crab poke, is four ingredients. Three, five, I don't know, just watch. Ready? <laughs> Chili pepper. Green onion. Inamona. <laughs> sesame oil. This one optional, you don't need to add it, but yeah, like just a little bit of sesame oil. And then the last thing, Hawaiian salt. You need a little bit more Hawaiian salt. Okay, then we mix them up. Oh my gosh. But every time I do this, my mouth just water. I don't know why, I just love this so much. Come on, Koa. Mm. Find it, find it, Koa. Here, right here, just do that. Mm. Mm -hmm. I ran out of chili pepper this way. I only had one. Wow. Mm. I haven't had this for like <laughs> <laughs> More like what? I haven't had it since what? Last week? 10 years? Is it that? Oh, cool. You guys ready for some coupe and garlic <laughs> butter? Butter in. Who am I? Butter in. Garlic in. So we got butter, garlic, Lemon zest and green onion. You can throw all these guys in one time. Usually I layer it, but for this, oh, chow, chow, my something is too hot. Coupe in jewelry. Beer me in. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, bruh. You let some of that beer burn off a little bit and then, whoo! Some garlic butter points. Oh boy. Oh boy. It's boy. hot. Mmm. <laughs> Using a little bit of salt. It's important to taste your food. Touch of salt. My jaw broke him. Broke the jaw. Oh, this is the perfect one. Did you do that? 
So you get the bread, you get the bread, and you dip this in here. Guys, guys, we did it again. Kupe'e, Hawaiian escargot. You take this bugger, you stab them like that, and you just pull them out. Garlic butter and... That's a wrap. I'll see you guys next week and Saturday. Aloha, guys.